Bum, the silver medalist of four years ago, five times a runner-up in a major championship, Vaclav Halupa for the Czech Republic. To his right, the world champion of single skulls in 1993, gold medalist with the Canadian eight in 92, the man to beat all season, Derek Porter for Canada. Then the man who's trying to emulate Perti Karpinen of Finland, who won Olympic gold in 76, 80 and 84, the champion of the past two Olympic Games, Thomas Langer. Switzerland's Zeno Muller is in four, silver medalist a couple of years ago in the World Championships, won his semi and has looked good all week. Then next to him, it's the Slovenian world champion, Itzstok Drop, won the title last year in Tampere in Finland and completing the lineup. A young man, 21 years of age, representing Norway, the junior world single sculling champion of 1993, Frederick Beckham. Dan, what a lineup. What a lineup. And missing from this lineup really is last year's silver medalist, uh, Estonia's Yuri Janssen, who uh, was on such great form last year but hasn't even made the semi final this year. Czech Republic, Canada. Canada Germany. certainly favoured to win here. He's had a great season. And very quickly away there, Thomas Langer. That's the uh, quickest first stroke. But of course, is the form going to work out? Derek Porter won the Lucerne Regatta. That's usually the form guide. But is it going to work out today, I wonder? My feeling is that Langer has been uh, biding his time a little bit. He's come back. He took a year out uh, to study medicine and he's come back. Uh, over the last couple of years, slowly getting better and stronger. Porter also took a year out, but has certainly been top dog all through this season. I fancy Langer to do something spectacular, but keep an eye out for Chop, who has a great, great courage and was a, a worthy winner last, last year. Here's Chop now, He's from Slovenia, the reigning world champion, and just beyond him, from Switzerland, Zina Muller. Yes, uh, Zeno. He's a sculler who has good days and bad days. Who knows what this is going to be. So far in this regatta, nothing's gone particularly wrong for him. And here is Thomas Langer. Dr. Thomas Langer, 32 years of age, member of the Ratzenberger Rowing Club. And uh, what he's trying to do now, really tough, to win three in a row. Not many do that in any sport. And this would be really tough because if he did, he'd match one of the great sculling champions of all time, Perti Karpinen. Well, Langer has, has five gold medals at World and Olympic Champions to his credit. Uh, he was fifth in Tampere, second in Lucerne, so he certainly has the wherewithal to pull this off. But coming up to 500 meters, it is Canada's Derek Porter who moved out in front. He leads with Langer in second place. 137.85 for the first 500 meters. And here is Derek, who was actually born in Belfast in Northern Ireland, although uh, those of us in the United Kingdom, we would be grossly unfair to claim him as one of our exports. Well, he was stroke of the Canadian eight in Barcelona, which won the gold medal under Mike Spracklin. Mike Spracklin, the American coach, has taken him under his wing again this year. He's been down in San Diego working with him. And here he is looking very powerful. He let the semi-final slip um, a couple of days ago. He was leading it but uh, finished second, allowed it to slip through his grasp there a little bit. I don't know whether that's going to have an effect on him. But here is Zina Muller, very strong, powerful, contained sculler, makes no mistakes, moves very well indeed. Another man who likes the sunshine of California, spends uh, quite a lot of time at Corona del Mar, and was a semi-finalist only in the last Olympic Games. Canadian in the lead, Porter. His father, Hugh, was a member of the British Eight in the Empire Games back in 1958. And Langer trying to stay on terms at the moment, the Canadian winning the battle. Langer holding a very strong second place there. Just uh, threatening a little bit here in lane four is Zina Muller. He's sitting about a length down on Langer as they come through the 1,000 metre mark and chop. In fact, it's chopped just ahead of Muller as they go through the 1,000-metre mark. The world champion in third place, still a bronze medal position at the moment. Close up here of Porter. Very smooth sculling, very powerful sculling. 
Good shot of him there. Now he's extended his lead there ahead of, uh, ahead of Langer. Three quarters of a length, looking long and strong. Does he have the flexibility that his compatriot uh, Silken Lauman earlier on did not have? Has he got the flexibility over this last part of the course to wind up the rate when the others start to attack him? He's gone out in front, he's holding it strong. Now he needs to prepare for a wind up for the finish. For the moment, it's Langer in second place. And just challenging now and moving ahead is Switzerland's Zina Muller moving ahead of the world champion Schopp. But here, very cool, very strong is Langer of Germany. So the race are really beginning to unfold now. It's Porter, but only by half a length from Langer. Thomas Langer, has he prepared quietly at home? Has he got this absolutely right? You write him off at your peril. Still looking very solid and well in charge of affairs. Zeno Muller, though, really moving up now. He's uh, the third of those boats. If you go from the top to the bottom, and in fourth place, it's Itstock Chop just for Slovenia. But here's Zeno, and we're into the last quarter of the race, and the pressure really being piled on. The Canadian on the far side, and Muller, now Switzerland. Here he is, and he looks as if he's full of power. Absolutely powerful on that catch. He's winding it right up, and he's moving. He's moved past Langer. He's moved past Langer. He's almost now onto Derek Porter. Now can Derek Porter wind up that range? Has he got the flexibility? But Muller is moving. 350 meters to go, and Zeno Muller has wound it up. He's moving fantastically well. Very, very, and he's moved right past Porter. He's moved right past Porter, half a leg. In 20 strokes, Muller went right through first and second place, and he's now in front by three quarters of a leg. And he's pulling away as well, and not for the first time. In fact, for the second time in the space of 30 minutes, a Canadian sculler has been asked a serious question and can't respond. In fact, no one can respond. This is enormous now. Muller pulling away every stroke. He's going further. And look at his face there. He knows he's got this. He's looking to his left there, and he's so strong. The rest can't do anything about it. Porter's being overhauled here by Langer. They've got the battle for the silver and bronze. But clear water and Zeno Muller striding out for Switzerland. He's not going to be caught. This is a fantastic burst to take the gold medal. And who gets the silver? It's just Porter who holds off Langer for the silver. The German takes the bronze and the world champion a distant fourth within uh, lane one. Chalupa, the Czech Republic, fifth. And the youngster from Norway... No disgrace in this company. What a strike. What a fantastic strike from Muller. Just those last 400 metres, he just turned the pressure up and flew. And listen, it took... Listen to this, Dan. We've got the time. 1.36.56 for the last 500. Astonishing. Quite astonishing. But he must have known he had that there. He was on form today. And my God, look at that. A length and a half, nearly two lengths clear of Porter there. Just holding on to that second place, that silver medal, and Langer, well, Langer...